So I'll turn off auto update and I'll, I'll close this. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to save this classifier. And so by default, it will open me up inside my project. It'll create a little classifiers project. Um, and I need to give it some kind of name. And I will save it. And then I will close it down. Now I don't need to retain it because I have saved it. And there we have it. We have potentially our full analysis here. We have the We've run the cell detection, we've optimized the parameters, we've optimized the state, we've optimized the parameters for the cell detection, we've trained the classifier, and we can now get the percentage of positive tumor cells selectively. I can click to show the annotation measurements. You notice we do get the measurements for these training annotations that we added as well, but we can identify them quite easily because of the class that we've got. But the larger rectangle we can also see and then this will give us the total number of cells within it, the total number of tumor cells that are positive, and the positive percentage. If we had classified cells by staining intensity as weak, moderate, or strong, then we would also have an edge score as well. And what I should have shown is that we can also save these results if necessary or copy them to clipboard and then paste them into a spreadsheet. 